Most of you will be aware now of our crystal automatic chemical dosing systems. These are two of the probes that are used in them, mainly in the domestic uh, type panels. We have a redox probe which has got the yellow cap and again the sockets on the controllers are colour coded as the probes do almost look identical. So this is the redox probe which is an ORP probe which measures the oxidation reduction potential of the water. In other words how well the sanitizer is going to work. It doesn't actually measure the levels of chlorine itself just the way it can work. This is the pH probe that measures the acid or alkalinity of the water. And again it's the blue cap on this one and the sockets are colour coded. When you handle these probes it's important to make sure they're kept in their little protective jars. This jar is full with a buffer and it keeps the end of the probe moist. If the ends of these probes dry out at all they're useless and they can't be reclaimed. So it's very important always to keep them either in the little jars or in the flow cell or in the pipework. With the pH probe you need two buffers to calibrate it and again these rely on the room temperature being stable. 20 degrees is the optimum for them and they are date coded in which you must make sure they're in date. When you're using the buffers it's important to be very clean with them so if you dip a probe in this buffer you must always wash it in clean water before you put it in the next one. If they become contaminated the only thing to do is to throw them away. So these are two of the usual probes that you'll find in the domestic systems. Another tip is if you get them out of the box and you see any air bubbles in the probe at all just give them a tap with your finger make sure there's no air bubbles on the electrodes. These are the two main ones for the domestic systems and if you do have any questions on them please don't hesitate to contact us in the usual way.